The Tampa Bay Buccaneers just lost a heartbreaker in Atlanta this week. So today I'm going to rebuild them and try to win them a Super Bowl. You know, ever since the Buccaneers signed Baker Mayfield, I'm not gonna lie, they have exceeded everyone's expectations. Let's be honest. At least they've exceeded mine. Baker Mayfield is arguably an MVP candidate this year, I would say. He has played amazing. He played good in the Falcons game, even though they did lose. Even as a Saints fan, you know, Baker is one of the most likable dudes in the NFL. So it's hard not to root for Baker, especially after what Cleveland did to him. We've also, you know, speaking of being a Saints fan, we've also got Mike Evans. And I'm not going to lie, I am probably the biggest Mike Evans hater in the world. But you know what? For this one video, I will let it slide. This this one video, it will, it will slide. I will put it, sweep it under the rug. But in other news, we have Chris Godwin, and Chris Godwin is better. I'm just going to say it, Chris Godwin is better. I don't know, I don't know how long I'm going to keep Chris Godwin for. I probably will keep Mike Evans um, as opposed to Chris Godwin. I don't know how many years Chris Godwin has left on his contract. He's got one year left, so uh, I'm, uh, I think we're going to win the division, so I'm not going to trade him. We might just have to lose him in free agency. I'm not sure. Rashad White, definitely. I want to trade and let Bucky Irvin cook. I'll probably trade him this offseason. Defensively, we have Levante David. We've got Vita Vea and we got Antoine Winfield Jr. Honestly, I don't... Levante David, he's kind of old. He's going to regress. He's 34. Good God. Yeah, he's going to regress. So I'm more so just worried about Vita Vea and Antoine Winfield Jr. on the defense. And we are currently 3-2. We're taking on the Saints this week. Let me see. Who do I have to re-sign? Obviously, Chris Godwin, Bryce Hall, Levante David. I'm not going to re-sign. Honestly, we're chilling. I don't even know, man. I don't know what I want to do here. I'm just going to wait till the end of the year because I really, I'm not really in a rush to try and re-sign Chris Godwin. So we're just going to send him to the playoffs. Honestly, I think we could still win the division even though we did just lose to the Falcons. No, we did not make the playoffs. We finished 8-9. and nine. In fact, that was third in the division. The Saints go on to win the division. Oh my goodness. Baker, 33-21. and 21. I don't know if Baker's gonna be our guy moving forward like it pains me to say but i mean madden really just doesn't value him as much in real life but chris godwin was top three in pass and in, in receiving yards this year with 1315 tutties dude i don't know man i i kind of want to resign him and, and maybe trade him but i think i'm gonna franchise tag him and trade him i, I think that's what i'm gonna do i think we got to get younger at that position we're gonna we'll keep mike evans just out of respect but honestly i i really I want, to, I want to develop a young stud receiver. However, the Cowboys do go on to win their Super Bowl. Marvin Harrison, Rookie of the Year. Dak Prescott, Super Bowl MVP. All right, yeah, no, uh, no, com no, no Buccaneers on the yearly awards, and that's honestly as expected. But see, this is why I didn't want to. That's why I didn't want to resign Chris Godwin, bro. He's already, he's already regressing. Honestly, I'm gonna let him walk. I'm gonna let him and Levante walk. I was gonna franchise tag him, but I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna let him walk, and uh, he can enjoy free agency. He was top three in receiving yards and still regressed. Justin. Simmons, Javon Holland. Okay, I mean, Chase Young, even. I'm going to set this free agency out. I'm sitting it out. Although, wait, wait a minute. You know who would be a good wide receiver, too? Let's get let's get Rashid Shahid. Oh, he actually really wants to sign here. You know what? Let's get Rashid Shahid. Solid wide receiver, too. Are we going to sign him? We are. Beautiful. Round one, pick 12 this year. I mean, we could we could use a lot. We could use a cornerback. Honestly, is what I'm looking for the most. But don't really see any here that I'm thinking about drafting. Maybe a safety. But I mean, we have we have Anton Winfield Jr. Maybe a quarterback. But he does ah uh, nah he didn't really look very good. I might just trade this pick back and get a future first next year. I think that's that's the play. The Seahawks want to give me a first this year and a first in two years. And low key I might oh my god the Raiders. Wh where did the Raiders pick this year? They picked top eight. Nah. You know what? Actually looking now, do the Colts? Their two first rounders next year could or the next two years could actually be pretty could be cinema here. I'm actually gonna try and manually trade with them. So I'm gonna try and take their first next year and the year after that i'm gonna try and get two seconds too what do they say to that two seconds as well okay maybe just get rid of one maybe we'll get rid of one second and okay yeah we're, we're doing it give him a fifth and a seventh this year and that should be cash money so our next pick is only going to be our second round pick although it is still a pretty high second round pick i mean this dude's projected top five and he's round one you know what We'll go with Aaron. I will go with Aaron. He's probably going to be a normal dev, I'd imagine. Yeah, I, I, I imagine he'd be a normal dev. I thought I'd take a shot on him. I mean, he was projected top five, and he just fell all the way to the second round. And then right here, I think I'm going to go with Zach Holiday in the third round. It's going to be a C. Hidden dev. As long as he's hidden dev, I will take it. All right, Baker's an 82. Mike Evans. Okay, Mike Evans regressed. I yo, I'm gonna try and trade Rashad White here. It's only 26, but I mean, I'd rather just let Bucky cook. What what can I get for Rashad White? I mean, honestly, I will try and just take a second round. Can I take a second round pick this year? Is that like too crazy of an? Oh no, it's not. 
I'll throw them a six rounder, Rashad White in a six rounder for a second round pick. That's a fleece job. So now we only have one halfback. That's low key a problem, but screw it. We're tanking this year anyway. Vita Vea, he's gotta be getting old, right? He's 30. What could I get? If I just theoretically, hypothetically, if I were to trade Vita Vea, what could I get? Could I get, oh my God, Mike. Could I, I could definitely get a first rounder. Oh, definitely. You know what? I'm gonna try and go get a first rounder. I, Vita Vea, man, it was, it was a pleasure. You won us a Super Bowl. It was a pleasure. If I were to get, to, is two first rounders too crazy for Vita Vea? It probably is. Let me maybe go with a first and a third for Vita Vita Vea, how does that sound? That's so close. Let me give him a fifth and a seventh with Vita Vea, and I feel like that should work. No. Okay, I'll throw him a fourth round pick too. And oh my, okay. I need their defensive tackle. I need like their worst defensive tackle possible. Oh, he's a star dev, of course. They're probably not even gonna accept this now. Yeah, I knew it. I'm gonna offer them another six round pick like next year, and that should work out. Okay, really? All right, there we go. Offer a plethora of mid round picks for their first round or the third rounder, and we actually, we get a star dev defensive tackle. And I think that's all that we're gonna trade for right now. Definitely not trading Antoine, Antoine Winfield Jr. How old is he, by the way? He's still pretty young, huh? He's what, 27? Okay, yeah, no, we're, we're keeping him no matter what. Baker, I don't know how long you're gonna last, sir, but we're gonna ride, we're gonna ride you till the wheels fall off. Pause. I don't think we're that good though, to be honest. Like that's why I'm, I'm our offensive line's bad. I mean, we don't really have a halfback, although we do have Bucky. We don't have a tight end. Our defense isn't very good. I don't expect us to be good this year. But never mind. We're five and two. I expected us to be good, obviously. Oh yeah, 100%. I expected us to be good. cancy has got seven sacks. Oh yeah, definitely. Why we had to trade Vita Vea. Cancy. I'm pretty sure he plays rush defensive tackle, right? He was a defensive tackle coming out of college. I know that. Baker's playing great. Bucky 316. What is his overall? He's a 78. Try, I'm gonna try and develop Bucky. I really am. I'm gonna try and see how far we can get with Bucky. Mike Evans is going crazy. Rashid Shahid's doing his thing. Antoine Winfield Jr. doesn't have any interceptions. Honestly, we don't have any interceptions across the board. So that is actually disgusting. Zach Holiday, the, Zach Holiday is two sacks. Still hidden depth. We don't really know his uh, his depth right yet. But Kalijah Kansi has seven sacks the midseason point. He's a star dev. He could actually be a stud, man. Is he our rush defensive tackle or let's see, rush defensive tackle? It is. Yep, it is. Kalijah. I just can't see. Okay, so we do. I would have been playing that position anyway. So I'm honestly glad that we traded him. Yeah, I'm even more glad because now we have the emergence of Kalaja Kansi, one of our first round picks from a few years ago, and we're five and two, man. We got a couple first round picks on the way. We got 117 mil in cap. Zion McCollum has actually played really well in real life. I don't know if I'm gonna resign him. I mean, I guess I'm gonna resign Mike Evans at the end of the season. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't resign anybody. We'll see. It. We'll see at the end of the season. I mean, we still got a we still got a potential playoff run to uh, to look forward to. We go 10 and seven. Nothing too crazy. No league leaders. Baker 25 and 18, so he kind of cooled off there. Bucky almost had a thousand yards. Mike Evans did have a thousand yards. Obviously, I mean, when has he never not had a thousand yards? Elijah Cansey, what do we finish with, sir? 12 and a half sacks. 12 and a half sacks from my man, Kalaja. Beautiful. Antoine had an interception. Nothing too crazy here. I mean, regardless, we made the playoffs. We won the division, so I can't complain here. Hey, man, you never know. This is a young Bears team, so anything could happen. We definitely have the experience over them, as it shows. 14-7. Okay, well, never mind. They're starting to come back. Come on, Baker. Come on, sir. 17-14. 21-17. Come on, give me one more tutty, Baker. Give me one more tutty or a field goal. We'll take either. Take a field goal. And we're going to OT where we win. 30 to 24. Hey man, one last run with Baker. One, oh my God. 33 completions, 333 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Good God, Baker Mayfield. Bucky, 40 yards. Cade Otten, 86, two tutties. Rashid Heat, 81 yards. Mike Evans, 73. Kalijah Canty with two sacks. Dude, Kalijah Canty is going to be him, man. Jordan Whitehead with an interception. Kalijah Canty, I did not expect him to break out like this. Well, now it's the Dallas Cowboys at 11 and 6. I don't expect to win this week, but you never know, man. Baker Mayfield, he shocks a lot of people, so you never know. 10 to 10. All right, this might be where the wheels are falling off here. I don't know. Do we have enough firepower to keep up with Dallas? It's not looking like it. It is not looking like it, but you never know. Come on, Bake. Okay, yeah, no, it's over. 27 24. The Baker show might be over, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. We'll see if there's a, a good. Uh, ooh, Bucky, two tutties. Love to see it, man. If there is a good quarterback in the draft, you know what? I'm just going to have to take him, and um, th th that'll be the end of Baker. But you never know. Maybe we run it back. Hey, man, we honestly did better than I expected this year. We won a playoff game. I mean, we lost to the Super Bowl champions. Can't really hate it. Kalaji Kansi, obviously got to accept your option. Let me see, man. Where is Mike Evans? He's an 82-star dev. Good God. Do I even try to re-sign him? One-year deal. You know what? Let's do it. 
he, one year deal we'll run it back we really really did not want to do that but you know what i feel like it's the least i could do 125 million cat there's mark andrews greg newsome okay so no free agents that i'm really interested in entirely i mean maybe nah i mean we, we really don't need anybody i do need a, a punter though so let me get bradley i mean we could try to sign mark andrews but i feel like he's gonna regress so bad but i will shoot him an offer i will shoot him an offer and we'll see what happens i'm at i don't know bro actually no it, yeah screw it whatever no i'm not i'm not i'm taking it back I, that would be such a bad signing i'm not gonna do it but david bakhtiari i am signing you to probably move you to right tackle we already have uh Werfs, obviously so i mean if i can get bakhtiari and move to right tackle it's beautiful or maybe even left guard who knows so our first pick this year is pick 13 then we got 26 and 27 okay i thought we were gonna have some uh, some higher picks than that but i guess not only one quarterback has gone so far so i'm guessing this is not a, a good quarterback class nah definitely not i mean andrew james a round one or two grade he might be okay oh he actually might be cool andrew james actually might be good i think i gotta go to andrew james here i'm gonna go with andrew james getting my franchise quarterback andrew james a plus pick hidden dev andrew james welcome to tampa bay buddy and with these picks honestly i would like to trade them back if i could get a future fur i could get a future first from honestly a lot of people here and i think i'm gonna trade with the seahawks here get a future first and a future second i mean we have pick 27 too so let me see i mean maybe i could even trade this pick oh a right guard actually might be pretty you know what Let i've drafted superstar right guards before let's do it with brian reese a plus pick Oh, he's a normal dev. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, he's not like a skill position guy, but Brian Reese, I think is going to be good, even though he is, a, he, is a, he is a normal dev. All right. Well, we got a couple, we got like three second round picks here. I'm thinking we do need a tight end. So, oh, I see that middle linebacker too, but let me see. I don't, I don't think Jim Rue is going to be that good, but let me go with this middle linebacker. We, we did lose the Levante David last year, the year before Rhodes is a awareness, a zone B man. He's actually if his play rec is A, he could be good, man. What's his tackling? B to D. If his tackling is B, he could be good. Let's go with let's go with Rhodes here. B, hidden dev. We will take it. And honestly, I will draft that tight end. We need a tight end anyway, so I'm just gonna draft one. I mean, he doesn't look bad. He's pretty fast. A catching. His route running could be good. Let's go with Jim Rose. Let's do it. B minus hidden dev. He's probably not gonna be a superstar X factor, but he he'll still be serviceable. And we also got back to back picks in the second round. I'm just gonna go with this left end. Ah, no, I'm not. I hate drafting edge rushers. I do. I'm not gonna go with him. But we do need a strong safety. Isn't Antoine a, Antoine's a free safety, right? I think he's a free safety. So let's go with Nick, who is a strong safety hidden dev. So the team is looking like this. I know I'm gonna have to trade Baker or at least release him. Let me see. What could I, if I release him, it's gonna free up 40. Oh yeah, we're releasing Baker. I'm sorry, Baker. You, you had a good run, sir. I appreciate what you did for us. It's Andrew James time. Rookie out of BYU. It's his time to cook. We're giving him the rock. We're letting him cook. I mean, the offensive line actually isn't that bad. Looking at it now, Werfs is up to a 98. Good God. How old is he? He's only 27. He's still got a, a lot of years, honestly. Our only good player on defense, I mean, obviously, Kalach can't see had a breakout year last year. Hopefully, that's not a fluke. Hopefully, he does that this year. But Antoine Winfield Jr. is really our only good player. Hopefully, Rhodes pans out. But I don't know, man. But since we have a new quarterback, I am going to change the scheme. I mean, a West Coast zone run is probably a vertical zone run. Yeah, I know. It. We'll go vertical zone run. But you know what? I don't know if we're going to do any, you know, make any noise this season. We shall see, though. Four and three. Honestly, we're doing better than the Panthers. That's for sure. Receiver breakout. Out. who's breaking out as a receiver for us i don't know who this is who is this trey palmer oh god okay trey palmer is he him let me check the stats before i do any of that okay no league leaders so that's unfortunate andrew james 14 and 8 what is your dev trade sir it's gonna be a star dev yeah i kind of knew that i expected it i don't want to i don't want to say i don't want to say cope i'm coping here but i did kind of i didn't expect him to be a superstar x factor trey palmer is cooking 510 yards yo he's only a normal dev though but he could be a star dev if he cooks this game rashichi he's doing his thing mike evans i don't know if he's gonna get a thousand yards this year we shall see Rhodes is a sack what is his dev trait superstar i needed that that's what i needed maybe Maybe Nick a bot. I don't know if he's played enough to get his dev trait. Yeah. But you know what? At least we got Rhodes to be a superstar dev. So that's, that's pretty sick. Jamal Dean, Rashid Shahid. I mean, nothing too crazy here. I guess I'll pay Trey Palmer before, uh, before anything crazy happens at the, at the end of the season. Maybe he goes crazy. We have to pay him more, but Jamal Dean, I'm going to let walk. Rashid Shahid, I will wait to see. I mean, you're 28. Mike Evans, honestly, we might just have to call it there. Hopefully just retire. 
Hopefully he just retires and we don't even have to really care about overpaying him or just paying him in general. Seven and ten. The Falcons win the division at seven and ten too. That is disgusting. Hey man, I'm, I'm glad we didn't win the division though. But I'm not glad that Andrew played terrible. Bucky, 13 touch. Yo, Bucky's cooking. Bucky is doing his thing. Rashid with a thousand. Rose had 727. I gotta check his depth trade. He's gotta be superstar X Factor, right? Superstar. We'll take that too. Zach Holiday with 10 sacks. He's a defensive tackle. He's a star dev. We drafted him last year, obviously. Kalaja can see a little bit of a down year, only five and a half, but you know what? Zach Holiday cooks, so I mean, I can't be too upset. And Rose with four sacks. He might win uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Oh, we didn't win Defensive Rookie of the Year. What? How did that not happen? We have so much cap available. We have 205. 205 mil. That is ridiculous. I might as well just re-sign, um, I mean, Rashid Shahid. Yeah. I think Mike Evans retired. Thank God. Okay, so he's gone. Jamel Dean, I mean, if you want a one-year deal, sure. I'm, you know, I don't really care. This cap's got to go somewhere. Cody, you're 28. Well, you're star dev. Let's do it. And that's really all I'm going to resign. I hope, I mean, if there's some studs of free agency, you know, I'll go crazy. Trent McDuffie, that's exactly who I want to see in free agency. That is exactly who I want to see. He wants 25, 26 mil per year, and I'm going to give him 40. I'm overpaying like a madman for Trent McDuffie. He's got to come here, right? We're still somehow not the top offer. Trent McDuffie, brother, you gotta come here. I'm gonna try and offer you more than what I just like offered you. Like I'm offering you an abs absurd amount. There is no way you were gonna say no to this offer, right? Like absolutely no shot. That is 50 mil, brother. 50 mil. There's no way we're in the same stratosphere as anybody else. How? All right, well, I'm just gonna pray, I guess. All I can do for him. You know, let's go get a punter. Let's go get a superstar punter because why not? We have so much cap. I'm going to splurge. I'm going to spend my V-Bucks. Young Hoku, we need it. We need a kicker. Let's go get one. You just destroyed us on Thursday Night Football, so let's do it. Give me Trent McDuffie. Give me Trent McDuffie. Please, we don't get him. We don't get Trent. How? I just gave him 50 M's. 50 M's and he goes to the freaking Patriots. Are you kidding me, man? We don't even get Young Hoku. We don't even get Young Way Koo. We don't get Young Way Koo, man. Young we, don't, we don't get Young Hoku. He goes to the Chargers. Pick 11, 12, and 25. Okay, first, let me check out our roster. Because honestly, I might trade up for a quarterback. If there is one chill in there, I don't know, man. Is James going to be the guy? We will see if James is going to be him. If I were to trade him, I could actually get some pretty good stuff. Oh my God, I could get some pretty good stuff. I th honestly might trade James. Wait, no, I'm actually trading James. I don't care. I am trading James. Oh, dude, the salary cap? What? Whose salary cap? The Lions salary cap? We'll take on Jameson Williams. We'll take on his contract. I don't need those seventh rounders. Or you know what? We'll take on Jerichoff's contract. I'll, ta I'll take on Jerichoff. But you got to give me another pick too, dude. You got to give me that second round pick because that is that is actually insane, man. Okay, really? Because of Jared Goff, we're not going to be able to do the offer? Okay, no, we can. I was going to offer you like a fourth and a sixth, and then we'll call it there. Yo, low-key, I mean, Jared Goff might be our quarterback this year. Jared Goff could very well... well how old is Jared Goff? He is currently 32. You know what? We'll ride it out. Because look at this, man. You know what? We just got a superstar center. Unless I could trade Jared Goff. I don't think I could trade Jared Goff. Let's see. Could I trade him? I'm, actually, I could. No, I could. Oh, my God. I could trade him. All right, well, we're trading Jared Goff, and I'm going to get a second round pick. I mean, there's no way, right? There's... Okay, yeah. I don't need this... I mean, actually, I'll I guess I'll take this wide receiver. Why not? You know, we just flipped Jared Goff for a star 84 overall in a, thir a third round pick. But we still need a quarterback. Is there a stud? Oh, there is Brad Sullivan. Do I trade up to get to get brad i'm gonna try and trade up here I, i'm trading up to number one overall let me see do the cardinals need a quarterback okay yeah they're probably gonna draft him number one what is this going okay so first maybe gotta offer a third maybe a future second too what does this look like for this oh god they're gonna want three first aren't they i don't know man I guess I got to do it, but I'm giving them all three firsts for this year. I'm giving them all three firsts. Like, that's insane. That is insane, but I just did it. I got to go get my quarterback, Brad Sullivan. He looks really good. Strong arm quarterback. A pick. Hidden dev. 98 throw power. A second round pick. I think we do need a right tackle. No, I think oh, I think we do need a right tackle. Ron Judge. Yo, wow, oh my God, his his combine isn't his combine report's insane. Let's go with Judge B minus ah, normal dev. Gosh dang it. We have not been hitting on our uh, offensive linemen in this rebuild. The last pick until the seventh round. So I guess let me just. Let me just go. I'll 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 go with the left guard again. We are we did draft that left guard, but I'm just gonna go with another left guard. Hidden Dev. 
Hey man, Sullivan's an 82 overall. So hopefully we've got our new franchise quarterback. Hopefully he's at least a superstar dev. Speaking of that, Rhodes was a superstar dev. Now he's back down to a star. I am excited for this season nonetheless. Still not setting my season goal. We're just going to take it one year at a time. One game at a time because we have our new rookie quarterback. Hopefully we've got to make sure he pans out. Four and two at the midseason. Points. Vickers is second in receiving yards. All right, Brad Sullivan, 17 and three. What is his dev trade, man? What is his dev trade? Superstar. If you're trading up for, you know, if you're trading three first round picks for a guy, you kind of want him to be superstar X Factor, but he's superstar, dude. If he wins rookie of the year, he'll probably be superstar X Factor. He's playing great, so I can't complain, man. Bucky, 300 yards, six tutties. Chris, 636. He was that throw in. He was that throw in, I think, for Jared Goff. And he's an 87. He's 23, 87 overall, 23 years old. He's doing his thing, too. And Chris Braswell, six and a half sacks. Kalaji Kansi kind of peaked that one year. So that's that's quite unfortunate. But I mean, I can't complain, man. I can't complain because it looks like our rookie quarterback is going to be a franchise quarterback for us. I mean, do we who do we have to pay? With 207 mil, Antoine Kalaja. I mean, yeah, I might as well resign Kalaja. Obviously, Antoine Winfield, we're going to resign you. Six years, crazy. Kalaja can't see. Offer you a neutral deal because your, your resign interest was so high. Bucky, I do want to resign you. I'm going to wait till the end of the year to see what's going on with you. And I mean, everyone else, I'm just, I'm just going to wait, right? Yeah, I'm just going to wait. I mean, hey, man, if we can win the, let's see, we're, okay, the, the Falcons might win the division and who knows? It's close. It's honestly a, a three, a three. It's down to the three teams, us, the Falcons, and the Saints. So we could win the division first year with our new quarterback. That would be cinema. We don't win the division, but we go 10 and 7. So that's good enough, honestly. Sullivan. Sullivan and Vickers went crazy. Brad Sullivan, 43 touchdowns, 11 picks. This is who I traded up for. 91 overall. Yeah, he's definitely getting superstar X Factor by the end of the year. Bucky, 772, 10 tutties. Chris. 1500 yards damn near 1600 with 14 tutties Rashichi doing his thing too same for jim rose zach holiday with 10 sacks collage is seven connor curtis eight and a half chris braswell eight and a half okay i mean hey tyke smith four interceptions jamel dean three antoine only had one nick three we had a top 10 offense in the league i mean all our defense wasn't good uh, our offense is amazing that's all like i don't really care about so we're taking on the 12 and 5 Seahawks who we traded Jared. Didn't we trade Jared Goff to them? We did, but they're not even starting him. They're starting Russ Rowe. They've got Kenneth Walker, Devon Witherspoon, DK. They don't even have um uh, they don't even have JSN. Hey man, we've got the overall advantage. I think we can win this game. It's a hostile environment, so you never know. I feel like we'd still be underdogs in this scenario. And right now, man, it's it's looking good. 10-10. They're going to score a field goal. They're going to score a touchdown. Okay. Our, okay. Offense. What happened? I, I don't know what happened. The wheels just kind of fell off there. That Okay. This is not good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm speechless. Wow. Brad Sullivan's first playoff game did not go as planned. Bucky only had 33 rushing yards. Rashichi did have 99 yards. Chris, 87 and a touchdown. But it did not go as planned. How do we not win rookie of the year? How did Brad not win rookie of the year? Are you serious? I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's like, dude, how did he not win rookie of the year? 172 million cap, obviously resign or accept uh, Tyler's option. Bucky, I mean, I don't want to overpay for you. I'll offer you a neutral deal, but um, I, I think we might have to part ways here. I didn't want to, but you just don't want to play here. So I really can't force you. Chris Braswell, I will resign. He wants to stay here. I want him to stay here. Fine with me. Lad McConkley is a superstar dev. You know what, man? We've got 163 mil. Why not? Why not just go all in here? Alex Highsmith's a scheme fit. Oh, we do have. Uh, no, we don't have our outside linebacker. So let's go get Alex. It's going to be a big free agency for I think we do need a do we need a kicker? No, we yeah, yeah, we do need a kicker. We definitely need a kicker. We don't need a punter. We need a kicker. And Bucky, I mean, if you're there by the second wave of free agency, then I will I will try to sign you back. But I just want to hope we get Lad, we get Lad, Brandon Aubrey, and Alex Highsmith. Bucky is still there. I'm gonna offer you, I'm gonna offer you a deal here, Bucky. I'm gonna offer you just a player-friendly deal. We're your top offer easily. So if you want to come back, sir, uh, he does not. He goes to the Saints. Okay. Pick 21 and 23. This is fine with me, man. I'm just gonna I'm gonna use these picks just to build the team up here. Maybe get a solid strong safety. A tackle. Oh, Quincy. Quincy McGee. A catching a pursuit. A tackle. Quincy McGee. Welcome to Tampa Bay, sir. Hidden dev. A minus excellent pick. And now with our 23rd 
overall pick i might trade this one back oh although we do need a half back we do need a eddie eddie bigby oh wait oh he's not fast but you know what i don't care i don't care uh let me check all the other halfbacks oh right, it's like the last you know what let's do it let's just go eddie eddie big b come on buddy a plus hidden dev oh we get our replacement for bucky irving and we still have a couple second round picks here we got two of them here's a tight end although we don't need one i mean we 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 could we could go with him and maybe trade rose theo walsh is he hidden dev i might i might trade i might trade rose i don't know i'm gonna see what walsh is before i try and trade rose maybe i'll trade rose next off season but we also need cornerbacks now, i have not drafted a cornerback at all and i'm just gonna take a flyer here on uh trent farley just take a flyer a a wait no way is that a plus oh my god a plus excellent pick Brent Farley I did not expect him to be a, a plus and now I'm just gonna go with this defensive tackle Jason McKay it's a nice body to add to the defensive line I mean I wasn't expecting him to be anything crazy and that's okay that he isn't you know what this center still here we he could he could play like interior offensive line like he doesn't have to play center if he's good he's gonna play somewhere hey man I think this is the first year where we uh we we set our season goal because i mean look at this this is insane i'm gonna move barton to right right guard make the offensive line even better so wow man we're an 89 overall we do i mean judge is still good he's an he's an 80 but this offense is sick man rose superstar x factor sullivan superstar x factor two superstar dev receivers a 99 overall left tackle defense does need some work though defense does need some work i'm hoping our uh some of our guys pan out here like mcgee i think mcgee will pan out hopefully farley pans out but we've really got nothing special on defense but this is definitely the first year where i'm setting my season goal to making the playoffs i think we should be at nfc south a lock we should easily win the division but there's only one way to find out and that's by simming four and three i mean this it's not bad i think we're definitely not playing as good as we should be although brad is brad's playing amazing eddie what's your dev trade sir what's your dev trade sir star dev and man they can't all be superstar x factors and i understand that lad 519 vickers right behind him rose right there this is crazy our offense is so stacked we just gotta get the defense together it's definitely that that's definitely the case our offense is definitely like top in the league yeah top seven and i bet the defense is just like atrocious yeah 30 first 31st defense in the league that's the second worst for those who can't do math with 115 in cap i'm gonna let barton walk because we have so much depth at uh offensive line we've got to resign chris that's obvious 89 mil i think we got to resign holiday as well so we're gonna do that now i'm gonna let barton walk I i'm definitely gonna let barton walk it would be smart too we have we have the offensive line to uh, the offensive line depth just to slide someone else in wow we don't win the division we don't win the nfc south but we do make the playoffs brad sullivan with another amazing season eddie has a thousand yards lad and vickers both have a thousand yards as well but defense oh my god kalaja can't get 15 sacks kalaja can't get 15 goodness gracious okay what is farley's dev trait he didn't really do anything he's a star dev yeah i'm not i'm not gonna lie he didn't do anything he had zero interceptions what about our boy mcgee he had a sack and i have an interception mcgee please be a superstar x factor thank you all right 11 and 6 taking on the 10 and 7 dallas cowboys we played them in the playoffs before this video in this video it'll be interesting to see what their rosters look like. i think we played them right yeah we definitely played them they have they have cd still they've got micah chris gentry who is their quarterback is it still dak prescott it is we're a 92 overall and they're only an 86 come on gentlemen we are a 92 overall like this team is loaded seven nothing still actually defense is playing surprisingly well for not being that good defense is playing amazing 21 nothing they're shutting them out 24 nothing they're shutting them out they're shutting out the dallas cowboys who have the most insane plot armor in madden history they didn't even score a point wait that didn't start why did it show me Dak's their highest overall player but they didn't start him they're the highest overall quarterback i mean maybe they should have because good god eddie had 55 yards chris with a tutty lad with a tutty and jim rose with a tutty high smith did have two sacks kalijah won zach had one and chris had one great all around great all around performance the nine and eight rams no way no way this team is gonna stand in our way right like this team oh this team is nasty this team is not good at all alex mcclennan is their quarterback 85 overall we blow them at the water in every overall category here we go man three nothing come on man the rams really they're nine and eight bro there's no way there is no way this team should keep up with us 20 to 14 get it come on get a stop get a stop there we go it's 27 14 come on boys 
Come on, boys. This Rams team is gritty. They're gritty. They don't have they don't have enough. They, they don't have enough to keep up with us, man. 30 to 21. They should not have enough to keep up with us. Actually, a lot closer than what I'd like for it to be, but at the end of the day, they're a playoff team. Man, their quarterback is insane. He's actually really good. Eddie had 53 yards and a touchdown. Lad 134 and two tutties. Alex Highsmith is like a postseason demon, man. Him Elijah can see two and a half sacks as well. Wow. Hey, man, we're hosting the NFC Championship game. We didn't even win the division. We didn't even win our division. And we're hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. This is low-key a Mickey Mouse Super Bowl run because we're facing like so many mid teams. But bro, I don't know. This team does not look mid. This team's definitely not mid. Their record might be mid, but this team is still really good. All right, just like that. 7 nothing, just like that. All of the Eagles do tied up. 14-7, 14-14, 21-14. Okay, there we go. Come on, we got to run away. We got to run away with it. We got to run away with it, man. Come on. 35-14. That should be it. That, that should be game. That should be all she wrote. We're headed to the Super Bowl. 38 to 28. Brad Sullivan had his best postseason game yet. Flawless performance. Eddie had his best best postseason game yet too. Although he did have a fumble. Hit 132 yards in, in the tutty. Same for a lad who had 183 and two touchdowns. Vickers had an 80, 83 yards in a tutty in Jam Rose. I feel like these three always have touchdowns. They always have a touchdown at this like together. We just had three. We had three people with two sacks. Elijah had two sacks. Alex had two sacks, and Chris Braswell had two sacks. Well, our Super Bowl opponent's going to be the 10 and 7 Baltimore Ravens. And if you look at the top right of the screen, Eddie. Biggie, Big B won Rookie of the Year. Brad Sullivan finished third in the MVP voting, and Todd Bowles finished sixth in Coach of the Year voting. The Ravens still do have 99 overall. Lamar, Kyle Hamilton, Roquan. I mean, it's literally the like the IRL Ravens team with a few NPC exceptions. I mean, regardless, this is probably the what the closest team and overall that we faced in this postseason run. 92 to 89. The Super Bowl is in Tampa Bay, by the way. This might be the first time. I've ever seen that in one of these rebuilds. This is the first time I think I've ever seen. I've seen us host a Super Bowl before. This is the second time it's happened in Tampa Bay's history, by the way. So it's not not new to them. But I mean, it, winning Super Bowls also is not new because we just win one. I was simply talking about how we're hosting the Super Bowl and we win the Super Bowl, but we get it done. Just like that, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are your Super Bowl champs again. This time they can't use the COVID excuse. And by they, I mean me. I use that excuse. Yeah, so Brad's definitely not winning Super Bowl MVP. It might be Eddie. Did Eddie have a master class? Four tutties. Eddie might have won it. Although, it's like, he had 82. I think Eddie won it. I think I think Eddie definitely won it. Unless somebody cooked on defense, I think Eddie got it done. I think Eddie is Rookie of the Year and Super Bowl MVP. Eddie did get it done. Wait, did I just say Eddie was Offensive Rookie of the Year? Did I like did I read that wrong? I could have sworn it said Eddie was Offensive Rookie of the Year. Okay, well, anyway, at least he's Super Bowl MVP. That's a better accomplishment than Rookie of the Year. You know what, Thad Patrick, you can have that, brother. I don't care. We don't care about Rookie of the Year. We care about Super Bowl MVPs around here. This is the squad as we say goodbye. My God, this team is insane. Look how many superstars we have. We have two superstar X Factors. Defense isn't even that good either. They're like, they're okay. Don't get me wrong. Actually, no, they're actually pretty good. They just don't have the depth traits to back it up. No, this this defense is pretty good. They have like Kalijah's a 92, Rhodes is a 92, Foster's a 91 they, we just don't have the depth traits to back it up like offense but this rebuild went, went pretty smooth i'm not gonna lie and if you want to see another rebuild that could have uh, may maybe went smooth or maybe didn't go smooth click right here another madden 25 rebuild